We begin with the latest following yesterday's earthquake. There's new technology used to send out emergency alerts during an earthquake. KSBY news reporter Alexa Bertola takes a closer look at the technology, which alerted many Central Coast residents moments after the earthquake struck. USGS tells me that Monday's earthquake was the first time that the new wireless emergency alert system was activated in San Luis Obispo County. Now, in order for an alert to be sent to your cell phone, the earthquake must have an initial reading of 5.0 or greater. Beyond the herd of zebras and crashing waves, a 4.7 magnitude earthquake hit 11 miles northwest of San Simeon on Monday. In the minutes that followed, there was a 3.5 magnitude quake and a 1.9 magnitude aftershock. In all of California, we have about 50 earthquakes a day. So these earthquakes, magnitude four, magnitude three earthquakes, uh, are um, are very frequent. Robert DeGroot, USGS Shake Alert Coordinator, says statewide about seven alerts have been sent out over the past two years or so. The seismometers of the Shake Alert system picked up the shaking of the ground and move that information to a processing center. USGS says about eight seconds later, a single alert was automatically delivered to people in an area where shaking met a level four intensity out of 10. The number of people that received the alert is not something USGS can track. You can also get an earthquake alert by downloading the first state sponsored app, MyShake, if the earthquake is an estimated magnitude 4.5 or greater. It was created by the UC Berkeley Seismology Lab and the number of downloads are starting to add up. Right now we're coming up on 1.6 million people across California. According to the California Office of Emergency Services, our state experiences about 10,000 earthquakes each year. With the Great California Shakeout Earthquake Drill just last week, state and local agencies encourage residents to be prepared for the next one. Things such as um, after an earthquake, what to do, like turning off your gas or turning off your power, uh, checking for water leaks, uh, kind of like a checklist. The wireless emergency alert system is the same system as an Amber Alert, so you do not need to subscribe to get a message. In San Simeon, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. If someone near you received an emergency alert but you did not, FEMA says it could be due to lack of cell reception. Some mobile phones will not show an alert when someone is on a call.